Let's go over three examples of finding the standard matrix for a given linear transformation. This is a two-step process, although with practice it can be done very quickly. The first step is to find the images of the standard basis vectors for Rn, whatever the domain of the transformation is. Once we have those images, we just use those as the successive columns of a new matrix, and that's the standard matrix for the transformation. Let's see an example. Here is our first problem. We're asked to find the standard matrix for the linear transformation defined by this equation. Note that this is a transformation from R2 to R3. So to find the standard matrix, all we have to do is find the image of 1, 0, and the image of 0, 1. Those are our two basis vectors in R2. And then we can use those images to construct the standard matrix. And here's what that looks like. If we plug in 1, 0 to the transformation, we get this matrix here. And if we plug 0, 1 into the transformation T, we get this matrix or column vector here. These two columns can be used to produce our standard matrix. So our standard matrix has 3, 2, 0 as its first column and 0, negative 1, 5 as its second column. Multiplying this column vector on the left by this standard matrix would produce 3, 2, 0. You can see how we would get that 3 there, and then we would get 2, and then, of course, we would get 0. So all this transformation T does is multiply the input vector on the left by this standard matrix. The cheat code to do this very quickly is to note that the entries in column 1 are just the coefficients of x1 in the transformation equation, 3, 2, 0, because there's no x1, 3, 2, 0. Similarly, the entries in the second column are just the coefficients of x2 in the transformation equation. So 0, because there's no x2, negative 1, and 5. So this is actually really easy. Let's do another example nice and quick. Find the standard matrix A for the linear transformation defined by this equation. This transformation T takes vectors from R4 and sends them to R3. For the first column of the standard matrix, we just look at the coefficients of x1 in the transformation equation. 4, 0, and negative 1. So this first column is 4, 0, negative 1. For column 2, we look at the coefficients of x2 in the transformation equation. So 3, 1, 0. For the third column, we look at the coefficients of x3. Negative 2, negative 3, 0. Finally, for the last column, we look at the coefficients of x4. 1, 0, 0. Zero. And that is the standard matrix for this transformation. You can see that it's the exact same two-step process we described at the beginning of the video, but done much more efficiently. If we were to input the standard basis vector 1, 0, 0, 0 into this transformation, you can see that this is the column we would end up with, because you would have 4 times 1, then in the next row we would have nothing times 1, and then we'd have negative 1 times 1. So it would produce this column. This standard basis vector gets mapped to this vector under this transformation. All right, let's use this quick strategy to solve one more. We are asked to find the standard matrix A for the linear transformation defined by these equations. So this takes a vector from R3 and outputs a vector also in R3. For our first column, we must consider the coefficients of x1. So 2, 4, negative 1. For the second column, we look at the coefficients of x2, which are 1, 0, 2. So second column is 1, 0, 2. And for the final column, coefficients of x3, negative 1, positive 1, negative 1. And that is our standard matrix for the transformation. You can see, for example, if we plugged in the basis vector 0, 0, 1, that would get mapped to the column vector negative 1, 1, 
negative 1. And that's how easy it is to find the standard matrix for a linear transformation. If you want to see some harder examples, please consider joining Wrath of Math as a channel member to help support what I do and get access to exclusive and early videos, including a video of some interesting problems with finding the standard matrix. I'll leave a link in the description. Also be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind. Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.